What up guys, Victor here and welcome back to another Tackle Tuesday. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time because I want to share with you guys a secret and share with you guys how sinkers are made. I'm not talking about fishing sinkers right now, butterfly jigs, anything in the fishing world, anything in the tackle world that uses lead, you're probably going to see a contraption like this. This is a lead melter that I got off doitmolds.com. It's a great website, I talked about it in a previous video. I want to show you guys how easy and simple it is to not only make your own fishing sinkers, to make your own jigs, to make your own um, vertical jigs, flutter jigs, all sorts of stuff. You guys can actually do this at home and save a ton of money. You can cut out the tackle shop, cut out the middleman. I really recommend you watch my other video that's going to be up here and in the description box below. And it's how much you guys can actually save on lead. The stuff that is used to make all the stuff I'm about to make for you guys. Um, lead can be very costly in a tackle shop, but you, it doesn't have to be for you. If you go ahead and use the guy that I use, the Lead Bandit, or whoever you choose to, there are actually a ton of sources around where you guys can either get free lead or lead for really cheap all the way down to 10 cents an ounce. In a tackle shop, you're gonna be paying all the way from 40 cents an ounce to a dollar an ounce, and you do not wanna do that, that's just a complete waste. What I'm gonna show you guys in this video is to really illustrate on how easy it is to use. I'm here right now with my girlfriend and we're gonna be making lead. Um, a lot of people are probably intimidated, they think it's dangerous, but it's really not as long as you use the uh, proper precautions. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is, this is my lead melter right here. Like I said, I got on doitmolds.com and it is made by Lee. And uh, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn it all the way to high. I got this little knob, knob, knob right here. And this guy's already been on for 10 minutes. And if you guys take a look right here, that's my lead right there. That's just lead ingots. And uh, like I said, I got this for 10 cents an ounce. This will actually melt down into a soup. Your lead will turn into a liquid. Now, the cool thing about making lead and just casting lead is that if you screw up, you can always put it back into your melter. You're never, you're never wasting product. You're always, be, you're always going to be able to recycle product. You know, damaged weights, damaged jigs. You're always able to remake things, which is the really cool thing about casting lead. Things that I wanted to add when it comes to actually doing this safely and effectively. Number one is you want to have some type of protective handwear, gloves, just in case because you do not want to get this on your hands in the case that you did have an accident. Number two, which I don't have on me right now is a mask. I mean, we're outside, we're in a very good ventilated area, but if I was doing it in a, you know, there's not much breeze or anything going on, I would definitely be wanting to wear a mask and never do this indoors. You do not want to breathe in the fumes of lead. It is very bad for you, does not smell good, and is not good stuff. And then number three is you do not want to melt lead around any water ever, because if water gets in your lead melter, it will splatter and you're gonna have little bits of lead fly and it will burn your skin. So do not ever do this around water. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is I have a egg sinker mold. I got everything from a one ounce to a five ounce, all in one. And what happens with this guy is, is Do It Molds will actually send you the mold with this little rod. And the rod, what it does is it allows you to have the holes in your sinkers. So go ahead and line him up. Gotta make sure that your rod is in there all the way. And I think that our lead is hot enough. And now you're gonna have these open cavities right here. You have them on both sides. This is gonna be my uh, three, four, and five ounce, I believe. And all I do is, is this is, so you guys will see that this is actually a bottom pour mold. And so what that means is, when I lift up this, this little lever right here, there's a little spigot, a little spout right there and the lead will actually pour down there. So if you guys really are concerned about um, safety, this is a little bit of a safer approach because you're not getting a lot of lead splattering out at once. Um, you also have the option of doing the ladle approach. So now with this lead melter in particular, I can do either my bottom pour or through the top. If you're gonna be doing big, bigger projects or bigger leads, you're gonna probably want a ladle just because it's gonna be faster and more efficient. So now what I'm gonna do is, I also have this little leveler right here, and I can actually hold my mold right here, and I already have it adjusted, so that way the spigot is lined up perfectly with my uh, cavity, and I'm just resting it on here. And all I'm gonna do is, is lift this guy up, and you can see that the lead is just pouring out of there, and I can actually adjust the speed because it's coming out a little bit slow now. 
but it is coming out. And then once you see that it fills up to the top, you just push this back down. And so the bottom pour is closed. Now I'm gonna open it up again, and it's coming out again. And stop them. And now do the same thing for the very last one. And stop them. And you can see that lead hardens right away. You're gonna see there's a little bit of lead left right there. That's the little bit of remainder that was coming out, but that guy should be good right there. Now, what we're gonna be left with is egg sinkers. You just open it up like that, and this is the purpose of that rod. This is what actually creates those holes. And um, you're gonna want a pair of dikes or cutters because this stuff right here, this is the excess that was flowing out of your cavity. And all you gotta do is take your dikes and you simply snip it off and then you get a perfectly round sinker. Slides right off, just like that. So these are the three leads that we got right here. And uh, they're hot, but I got my gloves on. And to cool them off, I just usually have a side of bucket of water, you know, far away from where I'll be melting lead. Just drop them in and it'll cool them off. And you can see the, there are some bubbles and that steam comes up because they're so hot. Like I said, the cool thing about casting lead and making your own stuff is there's absolutely no waste. You guys remember that little bit of excess we had from the cavity? Well, I'm gonna carefully pour it in because remember now our lead is actually a liquid so you don't want any splatter. I'm just gonna slowly lower it into the lead and this way there's absolutely no waste with our um, casting. It goes right back into the soup. This particular mold right here is actually a lifesaver for me because this guy right here only cost me $2.40 to make this lead right here. It's a 24 ounce bank. We use it a lot down here in South Florida for wreck fishing, grouper fishing, uh, mutton snapper, amberjacks. And this guy right here in the store would be anywhere upwards from $10 to $20 just for this weight alone. So being able to make this yourself really comes in handy. Um, and since this guy's a bank, he doesn't have any rod or anything, but I just want to show you guys a couple different types of um, weights that you can actually make yourself. So let's go ahead and fill this guy up now. And now for my bank mold, notice how I'm tilting it because sometimes what happens with a bank mold is the actual eye of the bank, the, uh, the lead will harden before it gets to that part. So I tilt it towards the side of the eye. Voila, we got a beautiful weight right there. Give this guy just a little bang on the other side. He'll pop right out. And let's watch him sizzle. You guys ready? Now we're gonna do some vertical type style jigs. These are flutter jigs. This is the do it mold like I said. And the cool thing about Do It Molds, not only their website, but all of their products, is they are very easy to use. Um, the actual mold will tell you the exact size of these pin rods that you need for your jig. And what these are is if you picture a vertical jig, this is that actual eye that sticks out of the lead for you to be able to attach your split ring to or your assist hooks to, that stuff. So what I did is I placed these. They're very easy, not rocket science. You can just line them up and I'm gonna go ahead and close this guy up. You gotta make sure that it's aligned, otherwise your metal pins will fall out. And I'm gonna keep them tightly closed. And there's a cavity on each side, so we're gonna do this side first. And bam, you got two perfect jigs. And guess what? This jig right here, a tiny two ounce jig right here, in a store would probably cost you anywhere from five to twelve dollars. Here's a three ounce jig, same thing. It would also cost you an arm and a leg in a store, but we just made them for dirt cheap here. This is two ounces of lead, three ounces of lead, and it cost me, so it cost me 20 cents, 30 cents to make this guy right here. The pins are pretty, pretty cheap. Um, you just get a, a really big package of them. They're not expensive. And just like with the uh, egg sinkers, we're gonna go ahead and clip this guy up. So he's in line, and there you go. That's all you need. Vertical jigs are nothing fancy. 
You guys get them in stores and they're all painted and they got all these crazy colors, but at the end of the day, it's just a piece of lead. That's all it is. So don't be, don't give into the hype. And these guys are gonna look 10 times better. We're gonna put some eyes on them, which also are provided by Do It Molds. We're gonna go ahead and put some paint on them. Now you guys see just how easy it is to make all of this stuff at your house and it saves you a bunch of money. Now, all of this stuff, you know, like the molds, they're all around 50 bucks. The melter, it's all kind of a big cost at first. But if you think about it, you know, this is something you guys can do with a bunch of buddies. Like, if I were to go in it, if I wasn't in it for myself, I would go in, ask a group of guys, you know, get four or five guys and say, hey, let's get all the equipment, keep it at one guy's house, and then we'll just spend a weekend or a day where we're just making all this stuff together. Because if you spend $200, you guys can get all this and probably more. And $200, if you think about it, is not a lot. Think about how much you guys spend on a weekend of fishing or in a month. It's, it's, that's how much you probably spend in tackle. $200 is only 10 butterfly jigs, if you think about it, if you're getting those fancy, crazy ones. Or you can get all this stuff, make it yourself, get it at a discount. And on top of this, I want to tell you guys, I'm not trying to sell you on this, but I, um, I contacted Patrick from the Lead Bandit which you guys know from the previous video. That is where I get my lead from in South Florida. He ships nationwide, and you guys, if you buy enough in bulk from him, you can get it down to 10 cents an ounce. Now, I went out of my way to contact this guy for you to set up a discount code. That way you guys can save money, because I want to save you guys money. I want to show you guys all the ins and outs of the fishing industry, and this is a huge thing that a lot of people don't know about, is the fact that you can make your own lead. You can make your own vertical jigs. So. In the description box below, go ahead and check out the Lead Bandit. That is where I get my lead from. You guys can actually um, get all your lead ingots and stuff from him. And use my promo code LANDSHARK, you guys will receive 10% off. Um, do me a favor, go ahead and check out Do It Molds. Even if you guys don't plan on buying anything, just go ahead and check them out. They actually have a lot of cool stuff on there, especially if you're in your tackle craft. They got everything from if you're a fly fisherman, you're a bass fisherman, you're saltwater, you know, you got everything you guys could possibly need when it comes to making your own jigs, lures, all of that. So go ahead and check them out. Yeah, so other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till that next video, guys, stay salty, my friends, and I'll see you in the next one.